If you're using VPS for your email marketing and autoresponders, then you're going to want to know what Google thinks of you as a sender. Watch the video, I'm going to show you exactly how to register your domain with Google Postmaster. Hey guys, I'm Gordon McKinnon and on this channel I talk about affiliate marketing, mindset and my journey to becoming a six-figure earner. Okay, so today I want to do a quick video, it's just a short one, I want to show you how to register your domain name that you use with your VPS for your mailing and autoresponders. Now it's really important you do this because it lets you see what Google thinks of you in terms of spam if you're a good person for sending out email or a bad person for sending email and it lets you just see what they think of you and allows you to fix it so that your emails get to everybody's gmail accounts okay i'm going to jump on the laptop and show you that now okay guys so the first thing we need to do is go to postmaster.google and you are going to need a google account for this so if you haven't got one sign up for that and this is the page now i already have a verified one this is my url that i have on a virtual private network or virtual private server whatever you want to call it and i have my autoresponder and mailbox or that kind of thing on there and i've got multiple ips set up which allows me to send out massive amounts of email the only thing is sending out massive amounts of email comes with its drawbacks because everybody's pushing back against you in terms of making sure that what's landing in people's email boxes is good quality and not spam which is great because we all hate spam nobody wants to be seeing rubbish in the email all the time so what this does is tells you if your emails are spammy, it tells you what's getting through, what's not getting through and helps you kind of work out what you need to do to fix it. And if you're a good marketer, you do want to be sending good emails out. And besides, if you're sending bad emails out, you're never going to make any money. And the whole point of being an online marketer is making money. So get your emails in order and keep an eye on it with this so how to do it all you would do is it'll bring you through to this page and if you've never done it before you're not going to have a registered domain so basically you just click on this button here and it'll ask you what domain you want to authenticate you then would just put that into here i'm going to put a false one on here because i don't want to redo this one when you click next what it'll do is say verify your ownership of gordonmckinnon.com or whatever it is you're putting in and to do that you need to add a text file to the dns configuration for that url so how do you do that then right it's really easy you just go to the website where you bought your url in this case i'm with namecheap and you would find your urls and just click on it this is the one that i've registered so i can show you and manage now everybody's provider will be different but they're all going to allow you to manage your url so i would then click on advanced dns settings and you can see there's some pretty advanced stuff going in because i've got so many ip addresses attached to this there's all sorts of records i'm going to go show more and I'm going to show you the record that I have done for Postmaster. And if we go back there, they say a text record. So what you would do is you would add a new record. So click add new record. It'll ask you what type. I'm going to go text record. And then you would just input this, copy and paste this. Put it in here and if you have this little extra bit just put an at sign in like i've done here and that's it so again you would copy this paste it into there put just put an at sign in there and then click the tick or confirm it however you do it on your 
site and that would be that part done now I'm gonna remove this because I don't want to be doing that but you can see here this is the one that I did text record at Google site verification and I clicked done and then that puts it into the DNS records you then go back here just wait a few minutes maybe two or three minutes go and have a cup of coffee a cup of tea whatever come back and then just click verify and it will then say verified not verified I shouldn't have put that in I'm gonna delete that domain because I don't want it but there you go it's verified so that's how to verify a, a domain with postmaster tools now because i've just done this today there's no information in here yet but as i start sending out lots and lots of emails to people to gmails i'll start getting information back in here about what i'm doing right and what i'm doing wrong anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that i hope it was helpful and if you like that hit the subscribe for more content like this and we'll see you in the next video cheers guys